Hey guys, Spiderbot here. Got a little 1v1 happening on Team Deathmatch Erosion, and I'm really not going to be talking necessarily about the gameplay. Uh, although I, <laughs> I do, I do own this guy pretty good. He's third prestige, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's just messing around, but whatever. Anyways, I want to talk about uh, Modern Warfare 3 DLC, the Elite subscription, uh, premium subscription service. Uh, as well as uh, the new maps that we'll be releasing next week for uh, Xbox 360 Premium uh, subscribers on September 5th. You will be getting the last three maps, the last three multiplayer maps. And yes, they are multiplayer maps. They're not face-off maps, thankfully. Uh, and on the 6th, on the 6th, the final collection, which will also include those three maps, but the other uh, two multiplayer maps that uh, weren't included in uh, collection number three will be available in collection number four on uh, notably September 6th. So uh, it's, it's kind of weird how they've kind of, they've sort of gone uh, against what they originally had planned to do and not all the way though. So when, for, when premium, the, the subscription service for elite premium was marketed. It was marketed saying, yes, you would get all the DLC and content first. And it was at first, it was a month in advance of everybody else or pretty much uh, depending on when the drops came. Um, and, but it made it really, really convoluted. I mean, yes, it's always going to be a month early on Xbox versus PS3, and that has been the case for years now and will continue being the case as uh, announced at E3 this year. But, but, here's, here are my predictions, or here's my prediction for how Black Ops 2 Elite is going to unfold, and they haven't talked about it yet. Uh, I thought they would have included it with the details uh, when they released the information on the Hardened and Prestige Editions, because last year, when you purchased Modern Warfare 3 Hardened Edition, there was no Prestige Edition, you got a subscription to COD Elite for Modern Warfare 3 uh, for that year. Uh, that's not the case this year. That's not the case this year. If it was going to be part of the Hardened or Prestige editions, then I think they would have came out and announced it. And it wouldn't be only $20 more than the list price of the game itself. Uh, presuming the, the list price of the game would be $60, you know, here in uh, Canada and the U.S., uh, for the Hardened Edition, it's $80, so it's only $20 more. You're paying $20 basically for the Nuketown 20, 2025, Nuketown Zombies, uh, you're getting the soundtrack, you're getting uh, whatever else, the the little coins, the, the stuff that, uh, I mean, I only care about the two maps, basically, that's all I care about, uh, but a bunch of other stuff, and it's $20 more. They're not going to give you Elite, they're not going to give you Elite for free. It's not going to be part of uh, Batch 4, whatever the hell you call it, uh, of these rewards for pre-ordering. Um, it's not, I don't think it's it's going to be part of that. It's, I think... I think this year they're just going to simply market it as a season pass. Um, do I think they'll also have the other things that they, they have right now for Modern Warfare 3? I think so. Uh, for instance, the, um, the, clan, uh, the clan challenges or the clan battles, the, the lone wolf um, ops. You know, they'll have all that stuff, and it's good. I mean, it's good for people that do that kind of stuff. Um, they have real-world prizes, like real-money prizes, uh, products. I, I don't remember. I mean, they've had... A couple of times they gave away vehicles and stuff like that. So, I mean, there there is value if you're into that. Like all the additional content, video content, etc. I think is pff, whatever. I mean, that if 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 you're gonna pay 50 bucks for that, then, then all power to you. But um, for me, for me, it's the DLC. So I pay for the DLC. And if you look ahead, if you're forward looking and you want the DLC, you want to pay less than you would presumably pay otherwise. However, there are there is a caveat with that. And I'll explain because we've talked about it before. Um, then, then it makes sense. I mean, if you're putting down fifty dollars for an elite subscription, um, and uh, you're getting sixty dollars, presumably worth of DLC content throughout the year, then hey, you're saving ten bucks. Yeah, you're forking it over up front, but you're still saving ten bucks. Um, what I would recommend, if you're only in it for the DLC, is not to get elite right away. I mean, there's no reason at all unless they make it a bundle discount in some fashion to get that elite premium subscription prior to the first DLC or, you know, like a day before the first DLC actually comes out because it's of no value to you. You know, let's assume they're going to do it via map packs uh, once every couple months 
Uh, and they've had, they've said that. I mean, Vonderhaar has said they're not going to do it like Modern Warfare 3 did it. They're definitely going to be packs or DLC packs. Um, so if they do do it that way, then, you know, the first one might not come out until February. Well, why would I fork over 50 bucks for Premium Elite uh, before February, before January, right? I mean, there's no reason to unless they have some other tie-in or some other way of discounting it. Um, but what I think will go away is that uh, is that Premium Elite will not get the maps first. And we've seen that. We're basically seeing that right now in Modern Warfare 3. The only reason they're giving it... Like, they, it used to be a month early. Now it's only a day early. And I know it's kind of convoluted because they they should have released the, the DLC content. Collection 3 didn't include some stuff and include other stuff. I think they kind of goofed around there. But um, we're seeing some of these maps that are being available only a day earlier right now to premium elite subscribers. And I like that. Like, I like everybody having access to it at the same time. Because if people are going to get it, like, I want... You know, I want to play with, with people that are going to have the DLC. I don't like the, well, it's only the Premium Elite guys that have it, and then next month the other guys will have it, so you have friends that play the DLC. Maybe they don't have Elite, but they're going to buy the DLC, or they're only going to buy the first one or whatever. Then you can play with you can play with those guys and, 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 and uh, put a team together or whatever, because they have access to it at the same time. So I think that's a good thing. I think it'll get rid of the convoluted mess that uh, has existed for Modern Warfare 3, and I don't think they're going to do this face-off bullshit. Um, you know, and, and I, I'll give I'll give Infinity Ward a little bit of credit for trying something new. But honestly, putting 25% worth of of DLC uh, maps towards Face Off was a huge mistake, uh, in my opinion. I mean, it's an okay game mode, but not having those maps available for the regular multiplayer multiplayer games, I think is is crap. I think it's crap. Um, and I think Black Ops did it better, and I think they may be able to do it better. Is you know. Taking taking the larger maps and blocking areas, making it smaller. They did that in Black Ops for some of the other game modes. For the uh, the wager matches, some of the wager matches stuff, they took the bigger maps and they closed off areas to make it smaller to appeal or to, to um, provide for those other game modes. I think they can do that with Face Off. I mean, Face Off. Hey, it's it's a decent it's a decent uh, game. It's a decent game mode. Uh, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. But to take 25% of your DLC and apply it just to that and you can't play any other game modes. I mean, what is it? TDM, Kill Confirmed, and um, I think Search or something? Uh, no, they only had Search for a little while, right? You're very, very limited. So I think it's very limiting to have 25% of that DLC that I paid up front for uh, applied to Face Off. The other thing that may you may not want to purchase uh, Elite Premium is because look at what happened with the Modern Warfare 3 content collections. The first two content collections went on sale for 50% off. So if you didn't mind waiting, you could actually buy them buy them for 50% off. So what it would end up happening, let's say you did buy those two first two collection packs for 20 or for 50% off and then you bought collection 3 and 4 at full price, you're only paying what $40. You're only paying $40 or for uh what is it? No, it's fifteen dollars, fifteen thirty, and then or forty-five. Okay, so you're paying forty-five dollars um, for those those content collections, right? Uh, so you're actually end up paying less than you would have uh, by applying or paying for a premium elite subscription. So uh, it's just my recommendation. I mean, they're going to come out with details. They've already stated Treyarch has already stated they're going to come out with more details. I think within about a month. So look for it towards the end of September. Uh, how COD Elite is going to be applied to ba Black Ops 2. It's going to be different than Modern Warfare 3. Obviously, I think we, we can come to realize that right now. I don't think they're going to provide with that uh, advanced download of the content. Thankfully, I, I'm not a big fan of that. And, uh, you know, I think I, hopefully they can they can do things better. And hopefully it's, it's applied more as a, as a season pass because... Uh, they royally screwed everything up with Modern Warfare 3, and it just left a bad taste in everybody's mouth um, from my standpoint. I mean, mine, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree. So, But like I said, if it's of value, if you're going to buy it all anyway, hey, you know what? Maybe it's good value. Yeah, if you wait, and you can pay less, but hey, I want to play it right away as soon as it comes out. Well, then it's still a good value for you, so it will be worth your while. Plus, it's zombies, man. It's zombies. Of course it's going to do better than Modern Warfare 3 uh, Elite Premium. Oh my God. Black Ops all the way. Black Ops 2. Zombies. Anyways, thought I'd bring that to you and uh, just give you my predictions. And uh, 
had that gameplay run in the background, but I kind of talked over it. But hope you enjoyed. I'm Spider, and I'm out.